a shot in the arm when we truly needed it. At the same time, they expanded their job numbers in Washington State by 2,000. Not a single person was hurt by their decision. Not one. And what did President Obama and his National Labor Relations Board do? They sued this iconic American company. It was shameful and not worthy of the promise of America. But we did one of the things we do best in South Carolina. We got loud. We're fighters in South Carolina, and as we fought, we watched an amazing thing happen. You fought with us. And guess what? We won. A few months ago, I sat on the tarmac at the Boeing facility in North Charleston and watched as a new Mac Daddy plane rolled onto the runway, sporting a made with pride in South Carolina decal and surrounded by, get ready for it, 6,000 non-union employees cheering, smiling, and so proud of what they had built. to pacify the bullying union bosses he counts as his political allies. American businesses deserve a federal government that doesn't stand in their way, not one that tries to chase them overseas. Sliding American ingenuity and innovation, that's what this president has meant to South Carolina. That's what this president has meant to this governor. And that's why this governor will not stop fighting until we send him home back to Chicago and send Mitt and Ann Romney to 1,600 pounds.